In this review, I will be reviewing the Premier Collection edition of the Single Column Reference Bible in the New King James Version. The NKJV Single Column Reference Bible combines fine craftsmanship with an elegant single column page design. Enjoy the accurate and beautiful New King James Version typeset in Thomas Nelson's smooth and readable NKJV Comfort Print. Featuring a supple goatskin leather cover, stunning art gilded page edges, and a durable edge lined binding, this special edition is a treasure for a lifetime in God's Word. The features of this beautiful Bible are a premium goatskin leather cover, Smythe sewn and edge lined construction for flexibility, art gilding on page edges, in this case red stain under gold, gilt line stamped and perimeter stitching, exclusive Thomas Nelson NKJV comfort print typeface, European Bible paper and 36 GSM, a black letter text, three satin ribbon markers, each three eighths of an inch wide, extensive cross-reference system, generous yap, and a clear and readable 10.5 point print size. Full grain leather comes from the top layer of the hide. It includes all the grain with it, hence the name full grain leather. This type of leather retains the inherent toughness as well as the imperfections because there are no surface alterations or splitting. I'll mention top grain leather in passing. Many premium Bible publishers will use top grain leather. Now the difference between a full grain and a top grain leather is that top grain is the second highest grade of leather. Usually to obtain top grain leather, the top layer of skin from blemished hides is split, therefore a thinner sheet of leather. Gilt edges and blocking. Many Thomas Nelson Bibles are decorated on their covers and on the edges of their paper with metallic, usually gold or silver colored foil. The book block is trimmed, the edges are sanded, and the corners are evenly rounded so that when the book is closed these page edges will show as smooth gold or silver surface. The material used in this process gives a rich, bright, and attractive finish to the book. Some Bibles have art gilt edges, as seen with the Thomas Nelson Premier Series, where a, a lustrous finish is created by a combination of red dye and gilt foil. The best Bibles are designed to be printed line on line. We call this line matching. When one line exactly matches the position of a line of the text on the reverse side of the paper, and have minimal show through, even when printing on the thinnest papers. Another measure of printing quality is whether the pages are printed in a correct long grain direction rather than cross grain. As a simple test, run a finger along the inner margins of the book. If the pages are smooth to the touch, the book is printed long grain. If rough or crinkled, it is probably printed cross grain. Printing in the correct grain direction improves the ease with which the pages may be churned as well as their appearance, and also as an effect on the quality of the gilding. The cross grain edges of the book will appear wavy, and this effect is often highlighted by gilding. There are two methods of casing in a fine Bible. The first, paste off, is a semi-automated process of gluing the cover to the end papers of the book block while the second, edge lined, is a specialized hand-crafted process using a cover that is more flexible and that gives a firm attachment of cover to the book. The handmade edge lined cover is attached to the book block by means of a flap of about half an inch in width of the inner cover material being glued to the end papers of the book. Because these covers are handmade, each Bible is in effect unique no two will look exactly the same. To make such a fine Bible as the Premier Series from Thomas Nelson, it demands more than skill and design in printing alone. If a Bible is to last and its appearance and handling qualifies to satisfy, it must be bound in high quality materials with care and craftsmanship. The Premier Series are always sewn, not merely glued, as is often the case elsewhere. Let's start off with the box. When you receive your Thomas Nelson Premier Collection NKJV Single Column Reference Bible, you'll notice it comes in a lift and open box. 
And then directly inside that box, you'll see that it is wrapped in elegant paper with a beautiful Premier stamp on the front. I love the way they did this. I think it's great, and they should keep on presenting their Bibles in such a way that shows respect and honor to the Word of God. So you're probably thinking, Brian, why are all these voiceovers, and what are you doing? Well, I couldn't do just a normal review for this Bible. Well, it's not just that. I'm trying to improve my reviews. But this Bible was so spectacular that I had to do something special for this Bible. It, it Just the size of it, the layout, the text, the, the color scheme. I think, personally, this is the best Bible that's hit the market in a long time. Now, some people would argue, uh, well, I like this goat skin better, better or that goat skin better. But I have never seen a goat skin that's so thick yet so supple like calf skin. I like that. I also like the layout because the size of the Bible is so, uh, it's, it's not too small and it's definitely not big. It's not even mid-size. It's more of a hand-sized Bible. But for that size, you get so much. A great concordance, good maps, a one-year reading plan, and then this the layout with the spacing between the lines for, I mean, optimal read readability. It's just amazing. And I like where they put the cross-references, where they put some down further down the page so they're not uh, interfering with your reading if that's just what you want to do that day. But when you do want to use it, it's easy to use with the red lettering contrast with the black. I love everything about this Bible. I'm a black text guy, so that doesn't bother me. So I really appreciate everything that Thomas Nelson has done. Some people will say, what about there's no hubs? Well, for me, I like that there's no hubs. This Bible's pretty thick. It reminds me of an old Thompson chain Bible. So when you open it, the, the spine, since it, since it is such a nice thick layer or cut of goat skin, that will fold in and allow the Bible to just lay flat. Now, if you've ever seen an old Thompson chain, uh, they don't end up breaking in the back. The spine doesn't come apart. And with this kind of goat skin and the quality they use, I don't see that happening. I actually see it as an advantage to Bible reading and Bible study than a con. So I would definitely give this Bible a 9.5 out of 10 without hesitation. Absolutely love this Bible.